On today's episode of Watch JR Go, we save some headlights. What is going on guys? I'm Watch JR Go and today we're here with the 2004 Toyota Camry that we just swapped an engine on in a very, very short time frame. And the only thing that's left is getting these headlights clean. So Thomas detailed the whole car while we were swapping the engine, washed it. I mean, he did everything. The interior is great. It's pristine. All that's left is de-yellowing or de-hazing or, you know, fixing the headlights in general. And we're going to use the Thomas method of super fast de-hazing. So what we're going to do is uh, start with some Meguiar's M105 Ultra Cut on a DA after I tape off the paint and make one nice pass until they start to clean up. After that, we'll wipe them down, move on to a finishing polish with uh, M205, the ultra finishing polish. Then we're going to maybe hit it for a couple seconds with Plastic X, you probably don't need to. And then we're gonna seal it with Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax. So that's my process here. It's probably not as good as sanding and then clear coating, but uh, honestly, to clear coat them evenly, you need a paint booth or some way to, you know, paint them, make sure it's nice and even. I don't think we need to do any more talking. What's, what's the what's the letter, Kenny? One. Pitter patter. Uh, Pitter patter. <laughs> All right. There's our hood release. Move our rags since they'll be slightly inaccessible. Also, we moved this into the shade. Uh, I know lighting but also when you're doing things with a DA or a polisher, especially on paint, you wanna make sure the car is in a cool area and dry, and I uh, don't want a bunch of heat in these plastic lenses so we don't take off too much material, right? That's kind of uh, the fine balance you're trying to find. Uh, you wanna remove enough material to clear them up, but you don't wanna remove enough material that you thin them out. Then they'll crack. So we're gonna start by quickly masking off the paint right around the headlight area. I'm not gonna get too crazy with the masking, but I do not want to take a bunch of paint off of this car. There's probably not a lot for me to take. So I'm just making a small little boundary layer. This is some nice thick tape, makes life easy. And don't forget you wanna cover all of the paint, especially out here on the fender. So and probably the gasket as well because it's always fun to get polish off of black gaskets. So we're really getting everything covered here. Pop right on in. Oh, you've got, man, you brought your own tape even. Oh, <laughs> I stay prepared. Yes, sir. We need to shoot over here more often. He brought us all our own chairs out. <laughs> Gabe, <laughs> trying to work and be comfy. Welcome to the warrant life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the corner is the annoying part, isn't it? That corner you really have to push your tape up into. There we go. That headlight is masked off, ready for polish. All of this was hand washed uh, two days ago and it hasn't really been driven much, so uh, there's no dirt buildup or anything that we have to take off before polishing. We are just ready to go. I have an Atmos foam pad on my Porter Cable DA. Nothing crazy, none of the high-end stuff. I don't own any group pads, even though I wish I did. All right, now we're priming my pad here. Got the little foil out. I just put way too much on the pad. But that's all right. I think Thomas laid this stuff in thick when he went for the first cut. Look at that, I got a lot of a lot of product in here. All right, let's see how this thing cuts. made good progress right there. It's time for a bit more product and we should have this side cleaned up. You guys got my Bronco colors going on over here. Blue and orange? Uh-huh. You from 
Colorado? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's our first pass to see what it looks like. <laughs> so much better. That's All right, crazy. I'm gonna, that was just once. Right? I'm gonna hit it a little bit more. But I'd say we're just about there. I need to take a little bit out right here, but up front we're looking okay. When we hit it with the uh, ultra fine polish, that should really clean this up. All right. here the last time you guys did this. It's like really satisfying to watch. Isn't it? We've got a ton of product on the pad again. I'm gonna spread it all over the headlight here before I start. The pad is very primed and ready to go. to wipe it down and switch to our next cutting polish here so we're going to step up to ultra fine right after i get all the uh medium cut or heavy cut off of here so we're removing the 105 you can see the difference the first pass makes it is a massive difference and now we're going to hit our pad with a little bit of 205 it is the same pad because i only have one pad and it would take like 30 minutes to wash and dry so we're just going to move on to the 205 on top of the 105 and hope that we got most of it off with our wipe down. So here we go. This is of course the super fast way to do it. It's probably a little more expensive than all the kits, but uh, you will get it done in a hurry with a DA and a little bit of professional compound. Look at that. Not to mention the kits don't last very long. Oh, the kits are terrible, man. I've tried all those yeah. things. Then we're gonna uh, try to seal in our nice clean housing here with a little bit of Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax and uh, a fresh side of the rag here. And I'm putting a lot of wax on this. Keep flipping the rag to make sure I got all the compound off. So this took, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes, something like that for one light. And we can unmask, show you the final product. Driver's side's finished. Now to uh, throw some more 205 on the pad, finish up the passenger side. Shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake, shake. Okay, uh, we're gonna hit our pad again with a little 205 for headlight number two over here. This stuff is very runny, so you don't wanna squeeze the bottle hard, that's for sure. All right, there we go. Got our bottle cleaned off, and it is go time. Woo! I have too much on there, it's all over the engine now. Too much sauce. Too much sauce. All right, I think that's it. That is our final pass. Look how much dirt I accumulated in this pad. I'm gonna have to take it in and hand wash it until it's nice and white again. It's it's actually completely brown out here and then just compound in the center. So uh, let's get some wax on here and get it sealed up uh, as well as it's gonna be sealed up on this car, that is. Oh, you're trying to take off all my excess, my uh, spray. I'm just wiping the socks. <laughs> Way too much sauce. Way. But this headlight looks killer. Time to unmask the passenger side headlight. And see our final results here. 
One more hit with our quick wax. I'm gonna go ahead and I do the area on the fender and around the headlight as well, just to make sure there's no uh, residual compound that needs picked up. And we'll just get it nice and waxy. And then clean it all back off. This will also help ensure we don't leave any compound behind on these black seals where it really stands out. Flip the rag again. So that is it. The super fast way to restore your headlights and it will hold up for a little while. And uh, it's also pretty cheap if you have all the materials on hand. If you don't have these materials on hand, the pro compounds do cost a lot. So uh, it might be easier to buy a headlight restoration kit, but then again, you probably won't get results like this from those little kits. So we are completely done with the Camry now. Hopefully it's out of my life very soon. I don't think I got a shot there. And uh, the headlights look great. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Are you a lady? Are you into Toyotas? There's Josh and his trailblazer. All right. That guy's nice. He always revs at me when he drives by. All right, Jerry's here to pick up the old Camry engine and take it out to the scrap pile. But where'd you get this jack at? It's just mine now. We get in place. Why is it, it looks fancy, but I feel like it's Harbor Freight. Well, of course it's Harbor Freight. <laughs> it looks like, uh, like with green, it looks like a race car. <laughs> it says Daytona. They make yeah. good, See? they make good yeah. jacks though. Daytona? Daytona? They, they do jacks. make good jacks. The reviews, say uh, yeah. the reviews say it's a good jack. Oh, right. yep. Laying it over, well, I don't know. I got it standing right here. Take it easy. Probably sit up. Right. Is this uh, oil box empty now? Okay. It'll hold the engine up. Perfect. I got those other boards there if you want to brace it. Cooling everywhere. Uh, I don't really care if it falls over. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. And then let's. One Camry engine ready to roll out.